गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आई आई टी सी चैनल दिस इज वेद प्रकाश सिंह फ्रॉम आई आई टी सी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ प्रोसेस सेफ्टी वेरी क्विकली सो लेट एस गो हैड सो वी विल डिस्कस हियर द एलिमेंट नंबर वन इज एम्प्लॉई पार्टिसिपेशन वी विल सी फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स बट नॉट लिमिटेड टू वाई एम्प्लॉई पार्टिसिपेशन are important for successful implementation of psm should contractor be the part of the psm how employee can participate in psm implementation gentlemen and ladies my request my humble request please subscribe and press the bell icon and please also send this link to your friends professional friends your company group and whatsapp group so guys now basic thing we need to understand the difference between between occupational safety and process safety let us start with uh, occupational safety as you guys knows that occupational safety focuses mainly on preventing the personal injuries personal injuries here means leg injury finger injury hand injury face injury eye injury and any body part injuries and uh, this occupational safety can be measured as per the osas standard in lti loss time injuries or loss time accidents fr means frequency rate sr means severity rate fsi means frequency severity index etc normally i mean as you know that occupational safety or occupational accidents are high in probability they are always uh, in high numbers that means failure frequency accident frequencies are more but severity is compared to the process safety is low i don't say that uh, it is uh, a low in terms of let's say there 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 are fatalities in terms of uh, uh, any work person working at height if he falls from the height he may die unfortunately so in that perspective i'm not saying but yes in general the severity of this occupational safety or occupational related accidents are low let us go ahead for process safety guys as you know that the definition of process safety as per the name it is a safety or process means process safety primarily it means of lopc loss of primary containment so it is a process safety is a systematic approach to prevent potential release or lopc or uh low loss of primary containment this looks entire processes beginning from the material equipment systems and product it is measured in a different aspect like uh, alarm rate corrosion rate flow rate leak rate in this terms it can be measured so if you see in terms of probability this process safety events are very less in terms of uh, probability but the severity is, is very high when i'm saying severity is very high that means it can kill many people at one point of time because this is process safety related event anybody and everybody who is in the contour of high fire high radiation high exposure zone he will be affected and he may be killed so that is why the severity is very high severity severity in terms of fatality severity in terms of production loss severity in terms of uh, reputation loss severity in terms of financial loss so guys let's go ahead i hope by now you understand the basic concept of occupational safety and process safety in this slide probably you will have clearer information related to process safety versus occupational safety if you see this graph this is y axis this is x axis here in this y axis you have got mah major accident hazard hope you are able to see my cursor and the down below is a slip trip and falls so this is the accident category and in y in x axis this is the likelihood or frequency in the beginning this is unlikely or very unlikely and there is a high possibility or high possibility if you go and see and refer this uh, slanting line which is light blue here it is a personal safety means occupational safety if you go down below here so that means it shows that it is a high probability 
high in numbers. The same time, if you see the corresponding x axis, this is the sleep, trip, injuries, and this kind of injuries. So that means this graph shows that personal safety or occupational safety, the possibility is very high, whereas the severity is low in compared to the process safety. Now we are talking about the process safety. If you see here, the process safety here, uh, the it is very unlikely in terms of the frequency, in terms of the I mean uh, likelihood. But the severity is MAH, major accident hazard. When we say major accident hazard, that means it this event can kill many people at one point of time. It has huge impact on production loss. It has huge impact on um, facility damage. It has huge impact on financial loss. So guys, this slide is very good slide to understand the definition as well as the difference between process safety versus occupation safety. Guys, I know that you are going through this video. You may be having any question or any suggestion. I would encourage you to please participate in the comment section so that we can come back to you with your queries ASAP basis. So guys, process safety, again you are here saying that process safety involves the prevention of leak, equipment malfunction and over pressure, corrosion, metal and fatigue. This deals with process characteristics of pressure, temperature, flow, um, level and all these things. So the essential elements are we must know the processes both physically as well as technically to understand complete process safety. So this is what is process safety management. We will go through line by line, one by one, each element so that you have got very good information regarding process safety management as well as all the elements of process safety. This will see the analyze the process hazard. This is a PHA. PHA is one of the element of process safety. I have created one small video, small presentation only for you. Please search on IITC PHA. You will find it that you get very good information regarding PHA, process hazard analysis. Now we have to also deal with the maintenance because maintenance is a reliability, availability and maintainability manage and communicate over the life processes. We have to see complete life cycle of process safety in this uh, management system. So guys, as we mentioned that PSM has got total 14 elements. In this presentation, we are going to emphasize more on employee participation. And you have different elements on IITC channel. I would encourage you to go one by one so that you can have complete idea all 14 strong pillar of PSM. Like the first element is the employee participation. Let us go that. See employee participation is very essential in terms of successful implementation of PSM. In other terms you can say that without employee participation we cannot establish a successful well established management system. So, so employee participation means they need to provide various inputs on processes because they are the front warrior. They are always in the process area. They know their plan, their process very well. We need to consult the employee on the processes. The reason is they need to feel free, feel pride that they are the part of PSM and we need to take consultation and advices from him on how to make our process safe better and reliable. Data available to employees. We need to provide as a management all the data related to process safety beginning from MSDS, management of change and product, uh, and their physical property, their chemical property and all kind of hazards, all kind of emergency, all kind of pre-incident plans, what can go wrong, they should be knowing that and they should be part of training so that they can participate in the training on agent required basis. Guys, now question is how employee can participate? Employee can participate with the help of P and PNID review. This is PID review. Sometimes people say PNID, sometimes people say PID. This is nothing but only it is process and instrumentation diagram. They should be encouraging, they should be encouraged to participate in process 
and instrumentation diagram and verification. They should be part of the SDS, I mean formulation. They should be knowing how to evaluate the SDS. They should be knowing what are the hazards in SDS of respective chemical. They should be part of uh, establishing operating procedure because they know what can go wrong and they should be knowing what can go wrong when they are working in the plant. So, they should be participating in JSA, they should be participating in HERA, they should be participating in operating procedures. So, guys, if you want to go through a training program on JSA or HERA, I would encourage you to search on IITC channel JSA or HERA, you will find a beautiful 10 minutes program so that you can go through that. PSSR, what do you mean by PSSR? Pre startup safety review. They should be part of the PSSR. Before we start the plant, after shutdown, I mean before after commissioning, they should be part of PSSR, they should be part of uh, checklist, they should be part of uh, checklist formulation, they should be part of checklist verification. Monitor and evaluate the contractor. They should be part of monitoring and evaluating the contractor because they know how contractor works. They should be part of permit to work um, uh, preparation process. They should be part of permit to work development process. They should be part of permit to work evaluation process. They should be part of permit to work audit process. They should be part of permit to work approval process because they must know all the hazards, what is going to go there, what are the different hazards, what are different control measures before start up any job. MOC. As guys, as you might have seen in our slide that MOC is one of the strongest element of management system. So, we will have a separate program on management, management of change or MOC. I would encourage you to please find out this module on IITC channel so that you can get a complete information on IITC regarding MOC. Emergency planning and drill. Guys, we must or employee must participate in emergency planning. They must know what kind of different hazards are there. They must know what kind of different emergencies are there. They must know what kind of preventive measures we need to take. They must know what can go wrong. They must know what to be done in case of emergency. They must know how to do the rescue. They must know how to escape from the emergency situation. They should be part of drill also. There is a number nine is PHA process hazard analysis. This is also one of the strongest pillar of PSM and they should be part of PHA. What is PHA? We will see different I mean uh, uh, a presentation on this one and this is available on IITC. You can search PHA or process hazard analysis on IITC channel so that you can go through a complete training program of 10 minutes on PSA. MI mechanical integrity, they should be part of preventive maintenance they should part of corrosion monitoring, they should part of NDT. So guys, we should encourage employees in each aspect of our system so that we can make a established successful process safety management program. Guys, now it is your turn, you have to answer the question. I believe now you know why employees should participate. You know the benefit, right? Now you know why contractors should be part of the PSM. Contractor is integral part of management system because nowadays many companies of outsourcing many operations they are part of process and they must be involved in the PSM activity. Without them, PSM implementation can never be can never be successful. How your employee can participate, guys? You know it now, guys. I I believe if you have any question, any suggestion. Please feel free to put in the comment section so that we can come back to you on ASCP basis. Guys, I hope these informations were useful for you. With this, thank you very much. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.